excuse me, miss, I have a question. What are you doing? You're raising your hand too? <laughs> no, you don't, all right? I raise my hand first. That means I should get called on first. I know what you're trying to do. You are trying to take away my right to get my question answered. Well, guess what? You are not going to do that. You are not going to sabotage me. Ready? Miss, 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 excuse me, miss, excuse me, miss, miss, over here, over here, miss, miss, I'm calling on you, please, miss, miss, look at me, look at me, miss, 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 thank you for calling on me, miss, just give me, give me a minute, oh, all right, um, may I use the restroom and possibly get a drink, really, thank you, miss, I appreciate it, now, you may call on them. Excuse me, why are you upset? The teacher won't let you go to the bathroom? <laughs> oh, that's too funny. You probably didn't ask her in the right way, though. Here, I'll show you how to do it, all right? Excuse me, miss. May I go to the bathroom? No? I can't go to the bathroom? Are you kidding me? What am I supposed to do then? Am I supposed to use the bathroom all over the floor? Do you want me to go to the bathroom in your classroom? Because I will do that if you don't let me leave right now. This is unbelievable, okay? You cannot take away our right to use the bathroom, all right? I am going to the bathroom, whether you like it or not, and then I'm going to the principal, and I'm going to tell him about what you are doing to us poor students, okay? Come on, let's go to the bathroom. Excuse me, did you just say that the test was hard? The one we took 40 minutes ago, right? That one? Oh my goodness, that was the easiest test I have ever taken in my entire life. Clearly, something's wrong with you, not the test. How long did you study for? <sighs> really? You studied for that long? That is pathetic. No wonder you thought the test was hard. I studied for twice as long as you did, okay? So maybe if you put in the time and the effort, you wouldn't have thought that that test was so hard, all right? So don't you dare go and blame the teacher for your shortcomings, okay? Excuse me, guess what I learned how to do last night? Magic. Do you want to see a trick? You do? All right, I just need a $1 bill from you. Thank you. Ready? This is your $1 bill, correct? Now watch carefully as I put it in my hand. Magic. It's gone now. You'll never see it again. Isn't that cool? You want it back? That's not how the trick works, okay? I can't just snap my fingers and make the dollar bill return. It's gone now. That was the magic trick. Are you accusing me of stealing your money? I would never. That was a magic trick, not a robbery. Go tell the teacher. Yes, miss. I did not steal their $1 bill. They gave it to me so I could perform a magic trick on it. And guess what? I did a magic trick on it. I made it disappear. If you are so distraught about losing your $1 bill, maybe you can get a job and work hard and get another dollar bill in return. Excuse me, are you walking? The gym teacher told us to go on a one mile run. Do you know what the word run means? It means that you are not allowed to walk. And what did I just catch you doing? I caught you walking. Do you see the issue there? Because I do. I now have to fulfill my duty as a student and tell the gym teacher that I caught you walking. The gym teacher is going to have to tell the principal. And then the principal is going to tell your parents. Your parents might ground you and take away your phone. This could have all been prevented if you followed the gym teacher's orders and did a one mile run. But no, apparently you can't do that. I hope you enjoy not having your phone for a month. Excuse me, gym teacher, I have something to tell you. Excuse me, is this your pencil? Well, uh, think fast. <laughs> Did that hit you in the head? Oh, I'm sorry. I did tell you to think fast, though, so that's kind of on you. You got that on video? <laughs> no, you didn't, because you are not recording. Your friend is? Please don't tell the teacher. Please, I'm begging you. Do not show the teacher. No, don't call the teacher over. Yes, miss? Did I throw a pencil at their head? I don't remember, but you know what I do remember? They are taking videos of me without my consent inside of a school building. That's right, they took a video of me, which is a federal crime. Do you know that? 
By taking a video of me without my consent inside the school building, you are committing a federal crime. Now, I'm going to give you five minutes, miss, to confiscate their phone and delete that video from existence, or I will get the police involved. That's right, I will get the police involved. I'm going to go back to my seat, and if that video is not gone in five minutes, I am calling the police. Excuse me, you are 45 seconds late. That means you need to go tell the teacher that you are late to class. What's that? The teacher excused you for being late? <laughs> she cannot do that. Unless you gave the teacher money in order to make sure that she would mark you on time. That is called bribery and giving people bribes is illegal. I am going to inform the superintendent and the Federal Bureau of Investigation, also known as the FBI, to what you are doing. What's that? How do I know the FBI? Well, um, I know someone who knows 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 someone who works for the FBI. So you are about to be in a lot of trouble. You hear that, miss? I'm going to tell the superintendent and the FBI exactly what you two are doing. So the next time we see each other, you will be behind bars, okay? Excuse me, is this your wallet? Oh, it is? I found it on the floor. Here you go. Oh, what's that? You had $100 in there and it's now missing? That's really odd, isn't it? That's so weird. Did I steal it? No! No, no, no. I would never think of doing such a thing. I am no thief. Frankly, I'm a little offended that you would think that I would steal your money. You're getting the teacher? All right, go get the teacher. Yes, miss? Did I steal their money? No. Am I lying? Yes, I am lying. You know why? Because I found that wallet on the floor, and that means finders, keepers, losers, weepers, all right? That money was on the floor. Anybody could claim it, and I claimed it, all right? Finders, keepers, losers, weepers is a law that everyone has to follow, okay? You want to send me to the principal's office? Go right ahead, because I'm not giving that money back. Finders, keepers, losers, weepers. Excuse me, is that your calculator? Let me see that. You are not allowed to be using this kind of calculator in class. The teacher said we are only allowed to use TI-34 solar calculators, and this is a TI-34 multi-view calculator. Do you see the problem here? Because I do. What's that? A calculator is a calculator? <laughs> no, it is not, okay? Everyone else is using a different kind of calculator than you are. How do we know that the answers are not programmed inside of this calculator? I don't know. The teacher doesn't know. You could be cheating right before her eyes, and that is not allowed, okay? You need to know when you're wrong and accept the consequences. Excuse me, miss. You know what I caught them doing? I caught them cheating and using an illegal calculator. That's right, because they are not allowed to use this kind of calculator in class. I want you to confiscate their calculator, give them a week of detention, and make them write a five-page essay about the importance of following the rules. Excuse me, how many books are you going to buy from the book fair? Only one? You must not like to read or something. That is pretty embarrassing. How many books am I going to buy? I'm going to buy 15 books because I really love reading. Excuse me, miss. How much would it be to purchase 15 books? $60? I don't have $60. Do you have $60? Of course you don't. Why am I even asking? Um, miss, I have... I have ten dollars, and I'm your favorite student. Would that be enough to purchase these books? No? That's not really fair, is it? What's that? If I don't have enough money, I'll have to put all these books back? Fine, I'll do that, miss. But wait, what's that on the ceiling? Do you see that? There's an octopus on the ceiling. Look up! Took you long enough. Oh, what am I doing at your house? Why, I'm here for Thanksgiving, of course. I heard you were having your family over, so I decided to come over too. You want me out of your house? No, nope, not gonna happen. If you make me leave your house, I will tell the teacher that you cheated on last week's math test. So what are we having for dinner? Turkey? <sighs> Ugh. 
Turkey is disgusting, okay? We're not having turkey, no. Go get your parents and tell them to make mashed potatoes and mac and cheese because that's what I want. You know, unless you want me to email the teacher and tell her that you cheated, of course. Excuse me, why did you call me over? You need help with the assignment? I'm not helping you, no way. Why? Well, um, you don't deserve my help, honestly. I saw you talking to your friend the entire time the teacher was explaining how to do the assignment. And by the way, that's against the school rules, so I'm going to have to report you to the teacher for that. What's that? Snitches get stitches? Oh, so you're threatening me too. That's great. Excuse me, miss. They're threatening me. I told them that they are not allowed to chit-chat with their friends while you are talking, and they threatened me. I do not feel safe in this classroom anymore with them in it, so I need you to escort them out of this classroom ASAP. Excuse me, do you notice anything different about me? Oh, what's that? Why am I wearing glasses? Well, the nurse told me I need to wear them because I'm having trouble seeing the board, so yeah. What's that? They look good on me? That's it? They only look good on me? What is wrong with you? These look absolutely amazing and flawless on me. The fact that you only think they look good on me is just so mean, nasty, and rude. I cannot believe you would say that to my face, okay? If you have nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all, okay? No wonder I'm not your friend. Excuse me? Did I just hear you say that you could not submit the online assignment last night due to internet issues? That's what I thought. You are a liar. Do you know how I know this? I was looking at your location on Snapchat last night, and I noticed something very funny. You were active on Snapchat at 8.06 p.m., 9.22 p.m., and 11.46 p.m. Do you know what that means? You need an internet connection to use Snapchat. And if you had an internet connection to use Snapchat, you had an internet connection to complete the online assignment, which means you lied right to the teacher's face about having internet problems. I'm going to tell the teacher, and you are going to get in so much trouble. What's that? Why was I checking your location on Snapchat? That's not the topic of conversation right now. What we are talking about is why you are lying to the teacher. Excuse me, miss. I found out something very funny, all right? They were lying to you about having internet problems. I have proof that they were lying, so I will email it to you, and you will punish them accordingly. Okay, miss? Excuse me, are you drinking water from your water bottle? Because you are not allowed to do that without the teacher's permission. Shame on you. You deserve to get into a lot of trouble. What's that? You don't need permission to do that? <sighs> yes, you do. Why don't we make a little wager on this, okay? I'm willing to bet 50 cents that I am right and you are wrong. Do you take me up on that bet? You do? <clears throat> Soccer. All right, great. Let's ask the teacher. Excuse me, miss. We had a quick question. Are they allowed to drink water from their water bottle without your permission? They are? No, 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 no. You misheard me, I think. All right. Are they allowed to drink water from their water bottle without your permission? They are? Oh, I didn't, I didn't know that. What's that? You want your 50 cents? Oh, sure. Let me get my wallet out. Excuse me, where are your hat and gloves? It is freezing outside and you are required to wear a hat and gloves at all times. You don't have a hat or gloves? <laughs> Great, now I'm going to have to report you to the teacher for violating the rules. What's that? Where's my hat? <laughs> I don't need a hat, you know why? Because my hair is just so long and thick, it basically acts as a hat. So I don't need one. I'm exempt from that rule. And honestly, you should not be worrying about me and my problems. You have more than your fair share of problems, so you should focus on your problems, okay? Excuse me, miss. They are not wearing a hat or gloves outside. Do you know what that means? They could get sick and get hypothermia. And I know you do not want that. So I need you to punish them severely, okay, miss? Thank you, miss. I appreciate you. Excuse me, we are in the middle of a test, and that means you are not allowed to be breathing that loud. How loud are you breathing? Let me show you how loud you are breathing. You are breathing like this. 
Do you see how annoying that is? I cannot concentrate on my test with you breathing that loud. Now, this is your only warning. Stop breathing that loud or else. Miss, 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 miss. They are being so annoying. I'm trying to finish my test and all they are doing is breathing as loud as they possibly can and I can't concentrate. How loud are they breathing? Let me show you how loud they're breathing. They're breathing like this. Do you see how annoying that is? Because that is very annoying. I am going to move over there to the other side of the room, all right? And make sure you punish them severely for this because this should not be tolerated at all. Excuse me, what is wrong with your book? Give it to me right now so I can look at it. I said, give it to me now. Let's see here. What is this? You destroyed this book. Look at this. Do you see this right here? There is a rip in your book. You destroyed school property. I cannot believe you would do such a thing. You're going to get in so much trouble for this. Excuse me, miss. You know what I just caught them doing? I call them destroying school property. There is a rip in this book that you provided them. And do you know what that means? They need to pay the fine. How much is the fine? It's $1. But it will go on your permanent record. Anyone who tries to hire you for a job will know that in school, you destroyed a book. And trust me, no one will hire you. Excuse me? What color pen are you using on your tests? A blue pen? You cannot use a blue pen. That is not allowed. Why not? Well, take a look at this. What color is this? It's a blue pen. I started using this blue pen on my tests last week. And now this week, you come into class using a blue pen on your tests? It's kind of funny, don't you think? You are a copycat. You saw that I was using a blue pen, so you decided to use one too. I know that I'm your role model and everything, but that does not mean you can steal everything that I do. You deserve to be punished severely for this. Miss, excuse me, guess what I caught them doing? They are being a copycat. I started using a blue pen on my tests last week, and then this week they come into class using a blue pen on their tests? That is not allowed, all right, miss? You need to punish them right now. Oh, excuse me. Why do you smell so bad? Do you not know what a shower is? When was the last time you took a shower? Uh, really? Oh, no. You should be showering at least seven times a day. That is so gross. I cannot believe you do not shower seven times a day. You smell absolutely disgusting, okay? You should not smell like garbage inside of a school building. A school building is a respectable place where you do not smell. Excuse me, miss. Ugh, excuse me. They didn't shower seven times today. That's right. They smell absolutely awful, and I can't sit next to them with their poor hygiene, all right? Either you move them, or I'm leaving this classroom. You don't think they smell that bad? Then I'm leaving. Excuse me, are you excited? Because today is the day of the Secret Santa Exchange. I can't wait to see who would buy me a present. Excuse me, miss. Who's going to go first? Oh, they are? Oh, okay. What's that? You would buy me a present? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, I'll close my eyes and you give it to me. I'll open them right now. Oh, it's a, it's a book. Wow, um, what's wrong with you? You know, I made a Christmas list. That was 96 pages long, and I posted it all around the classroom. The number one item on my list was an iPhone 12. And unless you hid an iPhone 12 inside of this book, which you did not, you did not get me what I wanted. How dare you, okay? What's that? Be grateful? <laughs> no, no, no. Are you kidding me? Be grateful? I am not going to be grateful for this piece of junk. You know what? I'm going to take it home and burn it. I hope you're happy now. Excuse me, I'm selling boxes of cookies so my Boy Scout trip can go to the woods this weekend. It's going to be so much fun. Now, can I put you down for 20 boxes? That comes out to, let's see, $20 a box, 20 boxes, $400 total. You don't want to buy that many boxes? Fine, I'll put you down for 19 then. 
You don't want to buy any boxes? How selfish can you be? I am in need of your help. A human being is in need of your help, and you won't even help them? You are so selfish. Excuse me, miss. I'm having some problems over here. They're being extremely selfish. I asked for their help so my Boy Scout group can go to the woods this weekend. I asked them to contribute $400 in exchange for 20 boxes of cookies, and they won't even do that. That is so selfish of them. Am I right, miss? I'm wrong? No, I'm not wrong. I'm going to the principal about this. This is not fair whatsoever. Excuse me? I was having a nice little chat with Jessica over there, and she told me something really funny. You have a private story, and I'm not on it. Why is that? It's only for your close friends? <laughs> That's funny, because I am one of your close friends. Do you know what this actually is? This is called exclusion. Do you know what exclusion is? It's a form of bullying. Have you not seen the anti-bullying posters around this school building? Bullying is harassment, intimidation, and exclusion. And actually, I don't know if you know this, but bullying is now a federal crime, which means that by excluding me from your private story, you are committing a federal crime against me. Now, I'm going to give you one day to add me to your private story, or I will call 911 and tell them that you are bullying me and that you deserve to go to jail, okay? Hey, trespasser, you stay right there. This is my playground. I will be right down to talk with you. Um, excuse me? What are you doing on my playground? I'm playing in the snow. Oh, that's cute. Well, it's my playground, not yours. So scram. Ah! Now, you listen here. This is my playground, okay? You are not allowed on it. So I want you to scram and go play Foursquare or something. What's that? You're going to go tell the teacher? No, no. Don't tell the teacher, please. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll beg for you, please. Please, please don't tell the teacher, please. I'm sorry. You, you go on. You go on. It's all yours, okay? I'll, I'll go over there. I'm sorry. Excuse me? What are you doing out here? You are not supposed to be on the snow. The teacher told us that we have to stay on the black top over there. This is not the black top. By standing here and playing in the snow, you are breaking multiple rules. You are going to be in so much trouble. I can- Ow! Who threw that? Who threw that? Fess up now, or you are going to get in so much trouble. I'm reporting everyone here to the principal for bring- ah! Excuse me, you need to follow me right now. Oh, how did I get inside your house? You left your second floor bathroom window unlocked, so I climbed through there. Now, I'll tell you why I'm here. You have way too many presents under your Christmas tree. The teacher told us that Christmas is about giving, and you need to share these presents with everyone in the class, or else it would be unfair for everybody, okay? So I'm going to take these presents, and maybe I'll... Oh, what's that? You don't want me to take any of your presents? Well, tough luck, Scrooge McDuck, because Christmas is about sharing, it's not about you. What's that? If I take your presents, you're going to call the police and tell the teacher? Oh, okay. I'll put them down, if you can catch me. Ow. Okay, fine. You got me. I'll put them down. But if you ever tell the teacher about this, I'll tell her about that time you put salt in her coffee. <laughs> What's that? Why am I crying? Today's the last day of school for the rest of the year. I cried four times last night. I can't deal with this. What's that? You're excited about winter break? Of course you would be excited. You don't care about school. Oh, excuse me, miss. I have a quick question. Will we be doing something fun today, considering that today's the last day of school for the rest of the year? We are doing something fun? Yes! Does that mean we're gonna have a pop quiz? No? Oh, okay, what are we doing then? We're watching the Polar Express? No, 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 don't you cheer. We cannot do this, miss. We are falling behind in the curriculum. I've done some research, and we are on chapter five, section 10 right now. And we are supposed to be on chapter five, section 11. If we ignore the curriculum for one more day, we will fall two sections behind, and I do not want that. I'm going to report you to the principal for not being a very good teacher. Excuse me? This has got to be the lamest Christmas Eve party I have ever been to. What's that? What am I wearing? 
I'm wearing a suit, obviously. Let me model it for you. You like it? I think it's really cool. It's got Santa's catchphrase on it. Ho, ho, ho. You don't like it? Well, your opinion is actually irrelevant while you are wearing that outfit. That is an extremely ugly outfit, and it's not even formal. Christmas Eve parties are an extremely formal event, and that outfit is ruining the entire theme of the Christmas Eve party. You're going to be in so much trouble when I show your outfit to your mother. Where is your mother? She's in the kitchen? Okay, I'm going to go in the kitchen and have a little chat with her about your outfit, and you are going to stay right there. Do you understand me? Stay. Excuse me, what did you get for Christmas? Uh-huh. Uh-huh, I don't really care what you got for Christmas, all right? I want to show off my Christmas present. Look at this. Do you see this shirt? It's a picture of me on it with my TikTok username. It's so cool, isn't it? You don't think it's cool? That is so rude of you. How would you feel if I told you that I don't care about your Christmas presents? I did? No, I didn't, because you don't have an audio recording of me saying that, so I didn't say anything like that. But you know what I have of you? An audio recording of you saying you don't like my shirt, which was my Christmas present. I'm going to show this to the teacher, and you are going to get in so much trouble. You should never, ever insult a gift that someone else received. That is just so rude of you. Miss, miss, I have something to show you. This regular class is so much easier than my seven AP classes. That's right, I'm taking seven AP classes. Not six, no, 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 seven AP classes. Excuse me, Mr. Johnson, I only have a 102% in this class right now, so I was wondering if we could get any more extra credit so I could raise my grade even more. Are you seriously taking notes right now? What is your grade in this class? A 95%? <laughs> Someone's not getting into an Ivy League school. I just want to remind you that I need this class to graduate, so if I had a choice to not take this class, I wouldn't take this class and I would take an AP class in its place. So don't you go thinking that we're on the same level, okay? An A plus in this class is only a 4.0, whereas an A plus in my seven other AP classes is a 5.0, which means this class might prevent me from being the valedictorian. Excuse me, did you hear the great news? Because I'm such a great student, the principal came up to me and told me that I get to be the principal for the day. I'm so excited. I stayed up last night brainstorming all the different changes I'm going to make to this school. Change number one, there's going to be more homework. Each teacher must assign three hours of homework per night. Change number two, school now lasts from 3 a.m. to 8 p.m. That is 17 hours of fun. Now, change number three, there will be no more recess. Recess is gone and do not complain about it. Change number four, you you are expelled. Change number five. What's that, miss? I can't do all this? <laughs> yes, I can, because I am principal for the day. And you know what? You're fired. Get out. Leave. Bye-bye. Oh, I really can't do this? <laughs> all right, fine. Why don't we have a little chat with a superintendent about my authority? Because I'm pretty sure my authority as principal trumps yours as a teacher. Excuse me? This may sound like a silly question, but can I try on your glasses? <laughs> I want to know what it's like to be you. All right, I'm putting them on. Whoa, everything's so blurry. How do you even see like this? Whoa. How many fingers am I holding up? I can't even tell. 17? <laughs> miss, miss, do you notice anything different about me? Yeah, I'm wearing glasses. I'm wearing their glasses. Isn't that funny? I'm such a funny person. What's that? You want your glasses back? Wow. Way to ruin the fun. Here you go, party pooper. Excuse me, do you have any New Year's resolutions? Oh, that's an interesting one. You'll definitely hit that. Huh. What's that? What's my New Year's resolution? I'm going to do better in school. I have all A's right now. That's right, you can laugh at me. I want to get all A pluses by the time this year is over. And it's definitely doable. I can do it. You, maybe not so much. But me, I can do that. Miss, miss. Miss, did you hear that? Did you hear what I just said? My New Year's resolution is to get all A pluses in school. I should get extra credit for that. It shows how much of a motivated student I am and how much I care about school. So what do you say, Miss? So I get extra credit? No? All right, that's okay. That's okay. I'll talk to you later, Miss. Bye. I love you. <laughs> what was that? What did I say? I, I said nothing. Just like, ignore me. <laughs> Excuse me? Where are you going? Class just started. You're going to the principal's office? Ooh. Guys, guys, did you hear that? They're going to the principal's office. Ooh. 
You're back from the principal's office. Did he get in trouble? Did you lose your phone? Did you get detention? Did he get suspended? Did he get expelled? What's that? You went to the principal's office because your mother had to drop something off for you? Wow. That's pathetic. I thought you got in trouble. Way to ruin all the fun. <laughs> Excuse me, did you know that if the teacher doesn't show up in the next 15 minutes, we are legally allowed to leave the classroom? I'm so excited. I'm going to set a timer on my phone. <gasps> 10 minutes, guys. 10 minutes until we are legally allowed to leave the classroom because the teacher isn't here. Yes. Three, two, one. Yes. It's been 15 minutes. We are legally allowed to leave the classroom. See you tomorrow. Woo. -hoo. What's up? Why am I back in the classroom? I saw the teacher in the hallway, and she told me that we are actually not legally allowed to leave the classroom if the teacher doesn't show up in 15 minutes. So she gave me detention. You know what would be really funny? If I tell the substitute teacher that my name is Kevin, even though my name is Tyler. <laughs> Excuse me? Um, hi. My name is, uh, Kevin? <laughs> Oh, can I take the attendance to the office? Please, 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 please. The rest of the class is lying to you. We are actually not allowed to use our phones. So you need to write their names on the naughty list and inform the teacher of what they are doing. Shh, you are not allowed to be talking to your friend right now. The teacher does not allow it. So what makes you think the substitute teacher would allow it? Excuse me, the teacher actually left us a worksheet to do. So if you could open her desk drawer and pass it out for us, that'd be great.